What's going on? Ryan Troy back with another video for you today. And in this video, I want to go over something that really gets under my skin when it comes to beginner photographers or newer photographers. Now, let me just start with this. Last year, sometime, I decided that I was going to do a video where I would critique um, some of you guys' photos. And I got a lot of questions on why did I stop that? Why did I end it after one episode? And the thing about it is I really didn't want to do it. Now, the reason why I did it is because one thing I'm against is, is critiquing people's images. But I figured if I did it, I would do it the right way, the proper way. Well, while collecting a lot of you guys' images, I realized that I, I, it was no right way, I guess. It, it's no wrong. It's, well, there's no right way to do it. And that's that's the thing that gets under my skin. So when we talk about newer photographers, beginner photographers, they want their work to be better, I guess you can say. Like they want to improve. I guess that's the right word. They want to improve. So what they do is they reach out, they join Facebook groups and you know they start posting their images and you already know how this goes we all seen it before someone comes through they tell them what they should do what they should change and that's just something that i am against so one thing i want to say to you know you newer photographers you beginning photographers it may hurt more than it's going to help right um going to these facebook groups or going to these different people asking them to critique your images because you're always going to get somebody some a-hole that's just going to say something that's going to just stick in your head the worst thing you could do is have something stick in your head and and this is what i mean by that we could be at the same location same camera same lens same lighting and we can take the take pictures i'm not going to say the same pictures because my point is of saying that is we will never get the same photo so every time you ask somebody to critique your work or what do they think and they say this or they say that they will never take the same photo regardless it, you cannot replicate whatever photo that it is that they want to and i actually have a video that i'll put right here actually right here of me replicating images and going with something totally different because it ended up being better um was that something on my beard anyway so with that being said you know if you want to ask questions ask make sure you're asking specific questions like instead of saying all right what do you guys think of this photo right say something like if because if it's something in your head that you feel you could have did better let's say you don't like the way the light hit or something like that ask that question more specifically say something like i'm not happy with such and such in this photo what would you have done to get a different result something like that and what i mean is when you start having people just critique your work just to critique it just hey what do you think of this photo and they start and they start oh well you should have used this lens or you should have been at this focal distance or your aperture should have been here all of this stuff is going to stick into your head every time you shoot and you are going to start questioning yourself Every photographer is different. What you see in your head, I will never be able to see and vice versa. Everybody that is critiquing your images will never be able to know what your style is, what you're going for or any of that. That's what makes us all unique. So you cannot you cannot go to these groups, to these Facebook groups and all of that and keep asking for people to critique your images. And and honestly, it's not even just y'all. There's also us experienced photographers. You cannot keep breaking down these new photographers. Like you make this such a toxic space. And, you know, I've, I've been saying how I want to get, you know, start a discord for photographers and stuff like that to help with other things. But what you got to realize man a lot a lot of a lot of you experienced photographers your definition of help is not really helpful your definition of help is break somebody down your definition of help is chase somebody away from being a photographer your definition of help is not helpful it's just not so and unless you can uh, mentor or you know one-on-one -on -one, like as the experienced photographer you got to understand what is it that this person was going for and you know I, I had this conversation in clubhouse and they all told me i was crazy because they was like oh well you 
it's it's important you're not doing you're not being honest you're not being truthful if you don't let a photographer know how you feel about no i don't have to tell a photographer how i feel about something just based on what i would choose to do in that situation that's not what they chose to do doesn't mean that they need to choose to do something like that it doesn't need to happen it doesn't have to happen we should be able to mentor and help newer photographers without crushing their their creativeness because i'm i'm and i'm gonna jump back to you newer photographers what it's doing to you and you don't even realize is it's turning you into a photographer that you aren't you are questioning things like well hmm and i'm gonna just throw myself in this for now hmm ryan troy wouldn't do this let me do you're not ryan troy whatever john smith commented and critiqued your work you are not them do not go out and start shooting like them do not go out and start trying to be like them you are you and you are you for a reason so if you want something critique make sure you ask specific questions on what you want to improve in if you feel your composition on something was, was bad and you don't like it and you want somebody to to tell you how they like what they would do say hey i i like this i like everything about it but i just feel like this composition isn't the strongest is it any other type of composition that you guys would recommend and that way you have people giving you their opinions on just composition because you may have liked 95 percent of your photo and somebody's going to or not somebody multiple people are going to just start pointing out all type of things that you actually liked in the photo and now in the back of your mind you're going to be like ah next time i take this photo i need to watch out for this or i need to watch out for this you don't need to watch out for anything at all some other people just some of the newer photographers like a photo this is the scary part this is the worst part they may like a photo and instead of like they may come to these groups or, and post it because they want these compliments they want these people to be like yeah this is a great photo and they'd be like hey what do you guys think of this and then they start getting all of this feedback that they start disliking the photo that they loved in the beginning this is this the photo critique is it's horrible man it really is and it's not nothing that's new it's something that's always been going on um i just i don't like it i don't feel it's helpful i really don't feel like it's helpful at all so you know you guys give me your thoughts on what you feel about this um if you are a newer photographer you know and if you experienced anything like this go ahead on and, and let me know that in the comment section if you think i'm probably not going to but if you think i should do some photo critiques some more photo critiques on this channel let me know in the comment section I, like i said i i am not interested in doing it but i'm just curious because you know at one point in time it was it's real big um like the what channel is that the f-stoppers channel they had and they had some great photo critiques i disagree with a lot of things that they said when they critique certain images i really did like i really did but i still watched those because it was i don't want to use the word entertainment but i'm a photographer and i'm always intrigued to know how different people look at different things so i guess it's the fact that it wasn't my work that they were critiquing so i didn't have you know as big of a problem with it but i know that i would never give my work to them at all i just wouldn't because not and not just them i don't want to single it out like it's f stoppers but i just mean to anybody that critique so anyway until the next video i am out peace